Welcome back, GMV Nation. This is your host, GMV Creates, aka GMV Reacts. And today we're gonna to be reacting to Young Dawn the Sauce Con. If you are, if you're a returning subscriber, you already know what to do. If you're a new subscriber, make sure you subscribe to the content right now. Turn off post notifications, please, and thank you. That's all I need from you, man. Show your loyalty, bro. Come on. But without that, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video about uh, Young Dawn the Sauce Con. Right now, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into it in three, two, one. Hey, G, how far with this? Me to be like, all right. How how do I stop this? Uh oh, yo. Yo, how do I stop this? Bro, I couldn't stop. There are certain things you can only see if you go to certain parts of the world. A lot of people live their whole lives without seeing things that you or me may take for granted. Take for example, some people have never seen a beach. Now, to me, that sounds crazy because I grew up in Jamaica, a Caribbean island, so I knew what beaches were like before I could talk. But a consequence of growing up in a tropical climate is that we don't really have seasons. It's pretty much summer year round, which means we don't have a winter, which means I didn't know what snow looked like for most of my life. In fact, the first time I ever saw snow was during the winter a few years ago when my girlfriend back in college took me to the mountains here in California. We had been dating for at least a couple years at this point. So she thought it was time for me to pop that cherry. You feel me? So me, my girlfriend, her <laughs> sister, and her sister's boyfriend, we all pack up the SUV and set our sights for Bear Mountain, a popular ski and snowboarding destination located in the city of Big Bear, California. Now, from the jump, I was very excited because I always <laughs> wondered what the snow was like. Growing up, whenever Christmas time rolled around, all my favorite channels would air movies and TV shows where snow was a big part of the whole thing. My mom would be in the kitchen cooking breakfast, playing Christmas music, and this dude on the radio talking about let it snow, let it snow. I'm like, where, when, how? So the whole ride to the moon, I'm, I'm about to make a snowman. I'm about to make snow angels. I'm about to be my girl in the face with this snow, you feel me? <laughs> so we're driving up the mountain, and the higher up we go, the more snow I'm starting to see on the oh, ground. By the time we get to the top, it was a winter wonderland, bro. I felt like a kid. It was so much snow. We get to the top and park, I jump out the car. The snow makes a crunchy sound under the weight of my boots. The skin on my face gets tight as it gets hit with the brisk, crisp, clean, cold air. Ugh. I look down and I think, okay, it's time to see what this is really all about. I reach down and I grab a handful of pure white snow. I hold it in my hand. I look at it. And at that point, I realized, yo, this is just ice, bro. Why that thing was about to be like fluffy and soft and like powder? Ah, All of a God. sudden, I'm covered in snow. I turn around, nobody knows what happened. Oh, Shotty slugged you. Ooh, you better slug it back. So I'm like, okay, I'm about to spray the whole block. I grabbed two <laughs> handfuls of snow. And right there and then, I had my first snowball fight with my girl and her people. And it was fun. So after that, we went to this like sled hill thing where basically you, you ride inner tubes down this little hill. And it was very fun. Once that was done, we went to this big cabin food hall spot and got some pizza and some french fries. And everybody was having a good time. But I was over the whole sled thing. I didn't want to go back to that. And we still had plenty of daylight left. And that's when I saw a poster advertising some ski and snowboarding activities. So I turned to my girl. I, like, <laughs> I love the hidden gym with Leonardo DiCaprio talking about some. <laughs> I love it. Yo, this is why I do animation. Yo, this is why I do animation, man, for stuff like this. Oh, man. 
As a, from one illustrator to the next, man. From one artist to the next, man. Love it, love it, bro. This is why you my. This is why you top three, bro. This is why you top three. Young Donna Sauce is definitely top three, bro. As far as my favorite animators on YouTube, bro. But you already know who's one with one. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> hey, but still, man, you the best. You 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 one of the best, man. The dude, hands down. Ski and, and snowboarding, snowboarding activities. activities. So, so I, I turn, turn to my, my girl. girl. I'm like, hey. Let's go snowboarding. She looks at me like, really? I'm like, yeah, can't be that hard, right? Feet are strapped to the board. She looks at her sister. Her sister was with it. So then we're like, man, let's go snowboarding. So we find a rental shop, get all the gear. And as I'm getting suited and booted, I turn to the, the shop guy and I'm like, yo, is this, is this hard? He's like, nah, <laughs> just look at other people. Y you look athletic. Yeah, you know, you'll get the hang of it. See, I was the only one in the group getting a snowboard. Everybody else was getting skis. So I didn't have someone to teach me. My girl's like, hey, why don't you get skis so we can teach you? And maybe next time we'll plan ahead and we can take all the snowboarding classes together. I'm like, babe, I ain't riding no skis, I ain't. I went my whole life to do this. I was born to do this. Plus, you say it's not even that hard, so don't worry about it. She's like, all right, fingers crossed. So we get to the slope. Wait, what do you say? Don't worry about it. She's like, born to do this. Plus, do say it's not even that hard, so, you know, don't worry about it. She's like, all right, fingers crossed. So we get to the slopes. We pay to get in and walk right up to the bottom of the ski. I'm dead. So we get to the slopes. We pay to get these hidden gems are funny as hell. Get in and walk right up to the bottom of the ski lift. I strap one foot onto the snowboard and then with the other foot, I pushed around on the snow, kind of like a skateboard. And then I realized this really isn't that hard. In fact, I dare say it is easier to stay balanced on a snowboard than a skateboard. And I may have done a little longboarding back in high school in Florida, so. You know. I was like, yo, I got this. My girl looked at me a little impressed and was like, all right, let's get to it. So we get on the ski lift. It takes us up the hill. I strap my other foot onto the board and I gaze across the slope. I'm seeing little kids ripping through the snow, no problem. I'm like, this is about to be cake. We get off the ski lift at the first stop, the top of the bunny slopes, you know, for the beginners. My girl and her sister take off. And now I'm just there standing by myself, looking down the length of the hill. And then I go for it. Started off slow, but within seconds I started picking up a good amount of speed. So I'm coming down the hill, big cheesing, right? My girl's cheering me on. I'm feeling like a young Sean White, you feel me? But it didn't take long for me to be like, all right, how, how do I stop this? Yo! Yo, how do I stop this? Bro, I couldn't stop. So I'm going down the hill, I'm going faster oh, and faster, and I'm like, yo, I'm about to die. I get all the way to the bottom of the mountain, snowboard past everybody, snowboard past a stop here mark, and glide right into these ropes that I guess are like the last resort for the noobs who don't know how to stop. And I get clotheslined and put on my back. But to be honest, didn't hurt that bad. And in hindsight, I probably was only going like 10 miles an hour. So not that bad. My ego was a little bruised, but I figured, yo, this is clearly my first time. Also, I was the only black person on the hill, so give me a break, all right? <laughs> my girl was half white, half Mexican, by the way. So I get up, my girl comes through and is like, are you good? I'm like, yeah. She's like, wow, okay. Um, so I think, I think you're supposed to turn your board and that's how you stop. I'm like, you sure? She's like, yeah, look, look at that kid over there. I look over and there he was like a 12 year old stopping on command by turning his board perpendicular to the slope and tilting on his board. So I'm like, got it. We get back on the ski lift, get to the top. And this time I was like, I'm about to eat this hill. See, I've always been a full throttle kind of guy. So I lean in, I take off, and this time I am going down that hill, bro. Easily 18 miles an hour, which if you've ever been on like one of those electric scooters, that's faster than the top speed of the, the scooter. So I'm zooming down. I'm like halfway down the hill when I'm like, okay, time to stop. I turn my body, get the board perpendicular to the mountain, and then in the blink, 
of a nine. Houston, we have takeoff. I am now airborne, but not in a good way. More of a, I'm about to break my back, bro. I land on my back, my head hits the ground, and I feel like I just got laid out by an NFL defensive lineman. My ears ringing, my neck hurts, and I'm just looking up into the sky, frozen. And if you've never been snowboarding, you might be thinking, how bad could it hurt? You landed on snow. Well, the snow on the bunny slopes gets compressed from all the people boarding and skiing. So instead of a fluffy cushion, you're pretty much landing on solid ice. My girl skis over to me and is like, are you okay? I don't say anything. I don't even look at her. All I can think is, I turned the board like you said. And she's like, babe, say something. I'm like, mm, I want to go home. We get in the car. I'm wet, in pain, angry, hungry, miserable. We drop off the rentals. <laughs> look at his face. Whole time, everyone's quiet. My girl turns to me and is like, I told you to get this. Don't. Don't. Okay, so here's my new schedule for YouTube. Thursday through Sunday, I'll be dropping new videos every week. So stay tuned for it. Thank you for watching. And let's get back into today's video. Don't. Don't. <laughs> oh my God, I why do I waste my time? Girl, I know I'm not your type. inspires me the most are other people, bro. Other people that do what I do and are successful at doing it inspires me to keep going until I reach where they are at and keep thriving from there, man. This is why this is why you always gotta find your own you gotta find inspiration and just for your own destiny for that. From that point forward. But yeah, man. Good stuff, young Don the Sauce guy. If you're watching this, man, one of my favorite animators on YouTube all the time, bro. Top three, bro. Top three. Hey, without further ado, man, uh, this inspired me to keep on going and moving forward with some animation. Just so y'all check out my channel. This is my main page right here. Subscribe to that. That's my animation channel. Um, also for more content to other channels like uh, other animators I reacted to in the past, such as Cyanide and Happiness and um, Swoozy and there's so much more. And even people that reacted to my animations right here above in this playlist above of animators um, that have been reacted to. Link will be in the description down below. Follow me on Instagram at GMB underscore reacts and leave a comment down below. First comment gets pinned. GMB creates, aka GMB reacts, outs, yes sir.